Good morning. How y'all doing this morning, y'all? I thought I'd just share this video uh, with you this morning just to kind of promote uh, the congregation. I started my big band. A shout out to all the musicians that come to rehearsal and we have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, rehearsing the music and getting it together. But also this mu this video is actually for the general public of uh, musicians and supporters of music. So we're doing this I decided to do this big band not in and of myself, uh, not only to promote myself, but also to promote good music. Uh, we talk about a lot of uh, things that's happening in New Orleans uh, that's not going on, uh, but we're focusing on things that we can do. There are, there are certain things, obviously, that we can't change people, but the uh, the greatest aspect of what we have as respons uh, of responsibility that we have as professionals, I think, is to go ahead and do something, no matter how small it is, or even if it's really not very popular to do. So uh, for New Orleans specifically, because you know the, the, the underlying conversation among, among musicians is what's not being done, how many people are moving into New Orleans and we're losing the, we're losing the, the music, the, the culture is going in another direction. And um, the, 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 the harsh reality is, is that there's nothing that we can do about that. Uh, you know, because I mean, you, you cannot stop people from moving to a certain demographic location. I mean, obviously New Orleans is known and it's famous for people being coming here because we have that laissez-faire attitude. You know, we have, that's who we are. We're, we're very welcoming. We're very open. However, at the same time, we need to be aware about uh, what's some somehow somewhat being lost in that process. Um, and again, this is not to disparage any group or any individual. This is, I call it the pink elephant in the room type of conversations because it's, it's, it's vitally important to the, to the, to the to the viability of the music uh we have to be able to be open to progress and be open to educating ourselves however we need to revisit things that have worked in the past and improve on those things that we've done so this this band the congregation uh i uh, I, I primarily uh, began this band with that concept in mind, Stay thinking about all those great big band leaders of New Orleans, because see, back in the day, that's what New Orleans was actually known for. Uh, New Orleans had plenty of big bands. Of course, it is, in fact, a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of music and time that's spent writing the music and, and, and getting the music together. And that is the foundation of what New Orleans is mostly. It's not all that, but music is such a great part of New Orleans. That's what draws people all over the world to New Orleans. It's the it's good music and not just music. I want to emphasize that good music. It's very, very important that we display good music to people because not only should we expect that, uh, you know, I think people deserve that. They uh, not only do they deserve that, People want to hear good music. So that's what I've explained to the musicians that we rehearse. And uh, it's our responsibility to go ahead and rehearse good music and, 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 and perform music that people can understand, people can dance to, they can sing to. Uh, that, does not, that does not diminish your musicality as, uh, as, a, as a professional musician. Uh, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. Because the reality for most musicians is that most musicians, we have to work. So in being able to work, being able to understand what the needs of people are is also vitally important because that's not taught in colleges and in school. School will teach you one thing, but earning a living is a whole nother ball of wax. So uh, that's what we're, that's what this congregation is about. We play all different types of music. Uh, we're open to different ideas on things. Uh, we welcome uh, arrangements that some of the members may bring in from time to time uh, because it, in the, it is, in fact, a very democratic process. But there is, in fact, a requirement. The requirement is, is that we're, we are true professionals and we're holding to the standards that's been passed down to us from those musicians of old. So um, that's what I wanted to share with y'all this morning. So again, thanks to all the supporters. Uh, come on now. Y'all already know what the deal is at the prime example. So to get uh, 16, 17 people up on stage is going to be very interesting, but it's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty. It's going to be funky. 
and that's what it that's what we're looking for we want people to come out so we want everybody to come out and have a good time particularly the, uh, the musicians themselves if you want to have uh hear some great new orleans music and not only new orleans music but classic r&b music you know what i'm saying we playing everything so look we got two dynamic singers uh, with us uh uh jalinda phillips and roderick harper they're gonna be straight killing it no doubt so um so look y'all just come on out musicians y'all already know what the deal is all right peace